Hey everyone, this is Clayton, aka Freak, uh, with a short video on uh, just a little something I'd like to uh, talk about for the blue uh, color on the uh, the Link EX Groove. Um, it's a brand new uh, first run of the product, and I'm really excited to get it out. But um, there's one thing that uh, is on the blue ones that isn't really on the other ones. Um, in production, there was a slight dusting on them. Um, that's just a byproduct of the anodizing process. And for some reason on the blue ones, there was almost like a powdery substance um, that didn't get tumbled off. And uh, in the assembly process, we tried to get rid of it um, and just, uh, you know, couldn't quite get it all off. So it's really simple and only takes a minute. I just want to kind of take you through it um, just so you, you know, there's no surprises. You kind of know what to get. So when you get it, um, it'll be nice and boxed. You can tell what color it is by the QR code. Go ahead and scan that if you haven't already. And I'll take you to the install video, which is super handy. Um, but we'll go ahead and open this up. And so what you're going to get is the new unit with uh, the protective coating. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take that off. And as you can kind of see, there's a little bit of a blue powder left on the tape as well um, and that's that's really what I mean is that uh, that's really what's on here so it's really nice beautiful color um, but what we're gonna do is you know take any old paper towel um, or rag paper towel works best because you're just gonna throw it away afterward um, and you're just gonna take it and start wiping it um, in your hands it doesn't take much just kind of Go all around it. And so what you see is this little blue residue. And so just take clean areas and keep going. Kind of flip it. The collar spins. Um, and what you might want to do is sort of take it like a claw fashion and get into the groove uh, as you spin it. Um, so the other colors don't have this issue, and I don't expect this to be in any future runs. Um, but first, uh, first pass, um, you know, it's uh, it's kind of a new, new, new day, new product launch, and little surprises here and there. But this one's really easy, so. So I'll keep going, and as you can see, it gets a little bit less on here, and it actually brings out the shine of this a little bit more, too, as you get rid of it. And just keep going, keep going, keep going. And it'll keep getting less and less, and if you want, it, grab a new one. one more time for good measure you can kind of check it and it's basically gone and you can keep going with that process you know to your heart's content um you'll get all the grooves out um and everything else but once it's gone um you're good to go and it should actually make a little bit of an improvement so what i'll do is i'll open a, a box when you can kind of see a little bit of a difference it's hard to make out on on camera I apologize but um, the one on the bottom is the wiped off one the one on the top is brand new out of the box hasn't been wiped off yet you can kind of see it's a little shinier um, once that powdery substance is off um, and from there you're, you're basically good to go I'm just making sure that you know it doesn't get on your hands or anything else like that um, if it does get on your hands a little bit as you are handling it just soap and water it's nothing nothing real bad about it um, but yeah, that's it. Um, once it's off of here, you're good. You're good to go. Um, and I, like I said, I don't anticipate this being in any future runs. Um, this is a new issue I've never seen before. Um, and the other colors don't seem to have this. So, um, you know, I'm not quite sure 
uh, what exactly the process they missed in, in the factory was, but uh, they basically said that it was just a little bit of tumbling they didn't have from what I understand. So at any rate, um, that's it. I just wanted to kind of give you the rundown of that. And once that's done, you're, you're good to go. Um, toss it in your arcade stick and have fun. All right. Uh, any questions, comments, or concerns, you can feel free to email me, hit me up on Twitter, uh, at FreakMods, and I'm always available to answer questions. Um, all right. Thank you.